their squadron at RAS Culdrows in Cornwall. And indeed two of the Fort Gazelles in today's formation. And they're the last two moving off the flight line now. RX705 squadron, one of them still in the distinctive colours of that unit with the shark emblem on the tail and the red and white livery. The other one is the one in the civilian scheme, but it too carries the shark of 705 on its tail. The other two, well the other red and white one, is an ex-Royal Air Force number 2 flying training school example, and a very rare bird indeed leading the quartet, only retired by Kinetic, the Test of Trials organisation at Boston Down at the end of 2018, since sold into civilian hands, and that's the one with the large nose probe that fitted as part of the Test of Trials calibration and measuring equipment that was installed on board this helicopter. So a basic trainer for future Navy helicopter pilots, the cell clearly showing its uh, aerospatial earlier configuration as uh, the Alouette, that heritage extended into the uh, tremendous style by Navy Wings, a charity that does so much to promote and further the preservation of the memory of Royal Navy flying of the past and indeed to inspire interest in Royal Navy flying of the present. Sir George, welcome to our Hall. Wonderful to see you. Thank you very much indeed. I'd like to be here with the great Indeed it is, all the better for the support from so many organisations with which Navy Wings is associated. with 705 Naval Air Squadron. What was it like as a training platform? Well, we moved from small fixed-wing aircraft to build up into the Gazelle. It was like climbing into a sports car. They are so agile, so fast, and huge fun. And indeed, immensely versatile, as proved by the range of roles to which the Gazelle has been put in the British Armed Services. That's correct, and it's been used in a very large number of roles, including in the four planes. But the aircraft itself is a brilliant training aeroplane because it's so flexible and so forgiving. Now, I mentioned the 705 squadron. We see two former 705 squadron gazelles in this display. The one on the far side of the formation and the civilian one bringing up the rear. And of course, 705 famed for providing the Sharks to 20 for so many seasons. John Beatty was my instructor, so he's responsible for almost everything that happened to me. So what was the training syllabus that you went through then on the Gazelle in the Navy? Well, it always started off with the uh, effective controls, and it was rather fun, because it was our first touch of a helicopter. They took you to the middle of a field and said, there, try and stay in the field. And that was quite a challenge when you started. By the end, of course, you could land on the sixpence. And about um, uh, roughly how many hours did you build up on the Gazelle before moving on then to the frontline helicopter types you flew in your service? Now there's a question. I'm guessing it's around about 35 to 40, and then the next aircraft was the then the, the Mark II Seeking. Um, and that was where you began your advanced flight training before moving on to operational flight training. And so what was the uh, the route that you then uh, took on was to the Mark II Seeking? What were the other types of things you were service? Your 
Uber escape suit and over entry wing flying to the machine we see here. And uh, that's true, it rather irritates me that the contractor who lives near me in Dawson, he's got one of them, still in the uh, Navy Sharks colours and flies overhead regularly and depresses me enormously because I'd love to own one too. Well, you should speak to the two members here and maybe they'll let you have another go. Uh, I'd love to. As you can see, the ex-kinetic machine then leading them round. The former A and A aeroplane and armament experimental establishment at Boscombe Down, which later transitioned into the civilianised and tractorised world as Kinetic, operated many gazelles over the years, notably with the Empire Test Pilot School. involved the Puma and the Lynx. As far as its RAF service was concerned, this was primarily in the training role with number two flying training school and with the central flying school, but they were also used in a different mark, the Gazelle HCC4, by number 32 squadron for VIP transport duties. underside as the Sharks team's aircraft did in period.
flying the C-17 transport. Number two is Andy Wellesley, who flew with the Royal Marines and the Army Air Corps in the Gazelle and the Lynx, who's now a Global 6000 business jet pilot. Number three, Kev Matheson, the team manager. He flew the Gazelle, the Sea King, the Merlin, and the US Navy Sikorsky Seahawk during his career and is a former member of the Sharks team from 1990's display season. And number four is Jim Richards, former soldier in the British Army, former Army Air Corps pilot, and former Blue Eagles helicopter team pilot with the Army Air Corps.